Hello anybody, I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is Crusader Kings 2, that is right! I am back with another episode of Crusader Kings 2. We have some vassal inheritance warning, but uh, it's, oh, it's actually Chiefess Boobaloobu of uh, Service Dollar. Why is that? Um, who does this pass to? Her heir is, oh, this guy. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't care. We're about to get rid of this guy. Anyway, uh, in the last episode, we became the Queen of Russia, which is pretty good. Pretty good for a lifetime, I have to say. Um, and then, uh, after that, we are going to be attempting to, uh, actually, where's the, hold on, let me just take a quick look. Okay, no, we're good. Anyway, um, we're actually gonna move this army over here, uh, I realized, uh, in the break time. Uh, this 1500 men is gonna go over here. Where's this, who, who's leading this 875? No one? Why can't we choose who's leading them? Is it just because... Like, some days haven't passed? Hmm. Oh, they're too autonomous. Oh, shit. That's because our crown authority is a minimum. Well, that sucks. We have to, uh... Because we became queen of Russia, we actually have to increase our crown authority, but, um... Uh, I actually... I don't think we can? Oh, not in a civil war. Okay, right. Alright, so then... Okay, so we're gonna have some trouble, for sure, uh, but that's fine, it's not a big deal. Uh, we're also going to raise all of our levies. Okay, that's good. That's probably a good amount of men, we'll, we'll raise them up in Rival, and we'll get this guy going over to Scove, and uh, now he's just gonna stand still, and these guys are just gonna take it. They're just gonna straight up take it, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a great time. Um, now, I probably, if I were a smarter man, would have sent the 1500 men against the big army, uh, but I'm not a smarter man, I am in fact a very dumb one, uh, and we actually have a large amount of, uh, forces here, so much so that I actually might just, who is this guy? You are the, oh, okay, do you like us? I wonder, does this guy like us? Probably not, right? Yeah, no, negative 18. Oh no, he, he totally loves us. That's awesome. Okay, good. Good, I'm glad this guy likes us. And his heir is a woman, which is even better. Even better. All right, good stuff. Uh, now the question is, do I go and fight here? I don't know. It could be a losing battle, but you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Um, it looks like the battle here is going pretty well. Indeed, we've achieved victory, and uh, and if we lose this battle, big whoop, because we have another 900 men on the way. Um, and it looks like we're gonna win. Yeah, we win. Okay, that's good. And where's he going? He's going to Scove. Alright, well, he will show up in Scove and then uh, get our men going over there to siege. And uh, it looks like we win. <laughs> we have already won this civil war. Uh, we literally just have to do this. We just have to let the time pass. Uh, because I don't think that they can even raise enough men to uh, to siege any of my cities, which is great! Uh, Booking it is an unappreciated art, and you've taken it upon yourself to master it. You gained a clearer picture of the realm's finances, and your stewardship has improved as a result. I always feel like these things, these little random events, are nice. Uh, obviously, that's because of the ambition for the stewardship, but um, they kind of remind me of the Og a bit. Anyway, let's gain one stewardship. Uh, Rurik of- No! Rurik is dead! Oh no! Helgi doesn't like me. We should deal with that. You can be the master of the blade, Helgi. And I want to send him a gift as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's make sure Helgi likes us. Oh man, Rurik is dead. That's unfortunate. Known plots. Still that one. Um, and we're, we have a plot going ourselves, who, this guy's, yeah, we're, we don't even need to do this, we could just go ahead and cancel that. We'd rather him live, actually. Um, no longer Guardian, Rurik has died. The great Rurik of Torzak. He got to, uh, you know, he was in battles his whole life. He's an aggressive leader, a cavalry leader. Quick, a mystic, ambitious, just, brave, charitable. He had great pox, apparently, and that's how he died, and he was wounded, too. He got wounded in battle and died of pox at 65. Rurik, you know what? You were a great fucking man. I, uh, 
wonder if any of your sons are good. Hey! Refill is not bad, actually. And he gets flanker, too, which is good. Uh, so I'll try to remember that. I'll, I'll try to put him at the flank, not as a leader. Interesting. Very interesting. And now we actually need a new marshal, and we're gonna get this guy. Uh, who is the high chief of the Viachi. And, uh, I think I'm okay with that. I think, I think you're gonna be our, our new marshal. Ah, uh, Rurik is dead. Uh, an era has been undone, friends. Rurik is dead. Um, wow, this lady escaped. Alright, and she's a weak claim over there, whatever. I, I put her in, um, in house arrest, that's fine. Let her, let her escape, she can, she can do what she needs to do. Uh, a child needs a proper guardian, nothing would please me more. Who needs a proper guardian? Princess Kraka, oh right, yeah. Who wants to do her? This guy, who is the, uh, Templeman? Yeah, sure, okay. He'll like me a little bit more, which is good. Um, I don't really mind how my daughters are raised so much, so I'm okay with that. Uh, we could just keep these sieges going here. We're almost done. Uh, cool. We gained some gold. I like gold. Uh, nice. We captured this person. I wonder if I could ransom him. Yes, for 26 gold. I will take the 26 gold. That sounds fantastic to me. And, uh, off to the dungeons with him. But as soon as he's in, he's out. He's already out of the dungeons. Uh, cool. Oh, no, no. You stay there. You go over there. And destroy these guys. Uh, Vaughn is dead. I wonder what happens now, actually. Oh, shit. Oh, because he died after, of illness, the independence war is over. Oh, that's awful, actually. That's real bad. I wonder if that means... I can't revoke these titles, can I? No, I can't. Oh, that's such butts, dude. Well, that's, that's real shitty, actually. Um, that is really shitty. Uh, that we can't revoke their titles anymore. I'm really sad that Vaughn is dead. Who inherits Dorpat now? It's this little kid. Uh, whose heir is that guy. You know, we could just kill them out. 529% to kill him. And how, who, how old is his brother? Two? Okay. Yeah, we'll kill this little 11-year-old. Uh, he's got a twin, and he's humble. He's a twin? Who's he a twin of? He can't possibly be a twin of this guy, because he's two. Whatever, we're just gonna kill him. Uh, I'd rather not have to deal with him. So we're not gonna deal with him. Uh, little kid should die. Uh, in the meantime, however, we can declare war on these guys. On the Conquest of Chud, Conquest of Logda. Uh, let's see which one is richer. Either of them? No, not really. Vologda's a little bit better. Okay. So then we'll get the conquest of Vologda going. Now, actually, let's take a look here. Who who else is weak? The Maromians. I wonder if we can, um... Declare war on them. More, um... Ashley. Just individual counties. But I suppose my armies are already here. I might as well, right? Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's conquer Muram. Let's just make sure he doesn't have any allies. Oh, he does. He has these guys. But I don't really care about those guys, because we already stomped their asses once. Yeah, uh, if you want to call him into battle, call him into battle. That's fine. We're just going to go ahead and declare war uh, and conquer Muram. And let's get our armies going here. And uh, we should be good. In the meantime, I'm actually going to... Eh, I'll leave my armies as they stand right now. Uh, Kraka of Ostrov has become regent. My ma... Oh. Okay, the chief of Dorpat. Right, okay, my mom has become the regent there. Unfortunately, your new kid is gonna die. I'm sorry about that, but that's just shit that you're gonna have to deal with now. Um, I guess we'll let this go... I can actually stand to do this as well, increase our crown authority while this happens. Um, we have improved relations over here. Now, the question is, which vassals don't like us? These guys like us. Shaman, okay, Chief of Ingria. You don't like us, dude? Like, what is your deal? I have been on your dick forever. And he still doesn't like us. He's at negative 91? Why do you hate us so much? 
Zealous Tyrant. Okay, well, I wasted our Diplomat. I didn't realize he was so far gone. Oh, that's unfortunate. How's the factions going? Yeah, Independence uh, with the Chief of Moscow. Actually, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and... Oh, okay, well, this plot is going to be done soon, so we'll deal with this faction later, but for right now, we're going to deal with this war. Uh, yeah, good. So we're going to kill this kid by... Uh, he's going to fall off the castle parapets. Uh, limited Crown Authority has been passed. Good. Uh, this battle is happening, and we are winning. Good. Okay, good. Uh, now we have a two-year-old on the throne. Or, or not on the throne, but, uh, you know, holding Dorpat here. Which is way better than an 11-year-old, because we don't have to deal with him as much. Um, seems the little chief uh, has not learned how to fly. Yeah, okay. Uh, actually, here's a question. What other plots can I get? I can revoke some titles. Uh, I could revoke the tribe of Viachi. What are the odds of doing that? My plot power is pretty high already, yeah, and we're gonna be able to do that. Okay, we may do that, but having that guy there is pretty nice, so let's not do that just yet. One thing that I do want to do is I want to murder this man. Um, yes, I will happily murder this dude. That sounds great to me, because uh, undoubtedly... Or maybe we should murder this guy. Yeah, right. That's that's the guy who I who I actually wanted to murder. Whoops, a daisy. Sorry. I'll murder him later too. Don't worry. But uh, right now we're gonna murder this guy who we don't have as good of a plot power for, but uh, it should be pretty decent. And we're winning there, which is great. Uh, okay, a victory. A new bird has arrived to the Mew, and a new book on the art of writing poetry is in the library. I should start reading the book. Chance book filled with, what is that? With bunkum. Alright, with inspiration or bunkum. Or, uh, I should go for a hunt. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with that. I'm definitely gonna read a book over maybe dying. Uh, poetry is really boring. It's filled to, with do's and do nots. I just want to throw it out the window. Oh, I'm, well, I'm already depressed, so... Uh, cool. We'll become an aspiring poet. Um... Alpha of Torah, see, see, Dutchie on Home Garter. Okay, so Alpha of Torah Pets. Dude, like, I just gave you your land. Oh, he's ambitious, that's why. Should never... See, that's my own fault, because I didn't see that his trait was ambitious. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell him to end his plot, and he will do so, undoubtedly. Uh, I should have been more studious about what I was doing. My demand is just... Yeah, right, okay, yeah. So you're gonna stop doing the thing that you're doing. Uh, once we siege out Muram, we should be able to succeed in this plot, uh, which is good. These guys are a little bit scary. Um, Olga. I can't actually take you as a concubine, I just realized, because, um... You know, you're a... Can I ransom you? No. I can't take her as a concubine because I'm a, I'm a woman, so, um... I can execute her. Uh, and it will lower all of my vassals. Okay, so they're mine. Who, who are you? We claim on the... Oh, okay. You're the old wife. Whatever, just stay in the dungeon. I don't care. He won't ransom for her, so whatever. Uh, majority of the population has been converted to the Slavic faith. Fantastic. Good. So that is, that is great. Uh, yeah, more Slavs in Russia so far. Uh, which is great. We have to work on these guys here, uh, which will happen inevitably. Angry so far during my visit, the court chief, uh, Angry managed to make him understand, benevolent, peaceful ruler. Good. I mean, that doesn't really matter because this guy still hates me. Right? Yeah, he's down to 60. Um, meanwhile, up here, these guys have raised 700 men, which is a little bit scary, but not super scary. Um, so I guess I'll just, I don't know, raise all my personal dudes. And why don't you guys get moving over here. And I should be good. I should be good. Good! Another guy. I wonder if I could ransom him away. Oh, I can, but it's only 10 gold. Yeah. Who is he? He doesn't have any good stats. I'm fine with it. I'll get 10 gold. Why not? Uh, just go there. Ransom prisoner. Yes. Did I get anybody else? No. We're still at only 82%, unfortunately. Uh, but that's fine. That is just fine. Uh, we have another siege, and we're at 99%, which should mean that maybe we can enforce demands. 
No, why? He's considering another... Oh, he's considering the ransom. That's what it is. Yeah, okay, right. Okay, he's just not going to do it. Yeah, obviously we don't want white peace. Let's go ahead and take another victory there. Good! So this should end the war, and I should get uh, Moram, which is fantastic. Wrong type of holding in the main. I guess I hold the city there. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, you guys can go ahead and disband, because it's kind of a waste of time for me to raise you. Now, in the meantime... Yeah, these guys are really scary to me. The Mishturas, uh, they have the most money, assuredly, uh, out of all these guys. But we're actually just going to go up to Vologda, I think, is going to be our next goal. Oh, right, we have to we have to deal with this domain thing. Um, so, let's look at our court. Let's look at... Uh, I wonder if I can give you the city. Like, can you be a mayor? I wonder if I can make him a mayor. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, cool. And he'll like us more, which he already liked us, but, um, that's fine. Uh, actually, you know, we kind of want this guy for another cheeky little thing that I plan on doing, uh, that I have yet to do. So I'm gonna leave him there for now, even though he's good, and, uh, he's good. He's real world good. Uh, who do we got? Bion, our, our, uh, the king. Interesting. Well, uh, his opinion is pretty decent. I could make him landed. He will leave our court, however. Hmm. Hmm. I can make him a mayor. And I'll be kind of okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have all of these things. We have to give these these away. The temple. Uh, as well. Okay, uh, let's make you a mayor. Sure. I mean, do I have any reasons not to? Yes, he's Tangri. That's probably a good reason not to. Uh, who else do we got? We have Klaus, who is a Slav. He's got Lustful, Envious, and Cynical. So the Envious is really gonna kinda suck, but it's already at negative 15, and he already likes us because of long reign and personal diplomacy and prestige. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll be the new mayor. Uh, that's fine. Now, of course, I could always just create a new vassal, which... You know, it might be not a bad idea, but I want to make sure that, like, that here, here's what I mean. So, uh, right now we have this, we're not supposed to have this, so I could just press this button, create new vassal. But I don't really want to, because I'd rather have someone in there that I actually like and know about, uh, and not, like, a randomly generated guy. Um, I could just make you, you know what, I'm gonna do that. You can just go ahead and have the temple. Um, Piety from the church, scrap, cool, alright, good. Alright, so he's, uh... Oh, he's no longer the Guardian. That kind of sucks. Reign of Dorpat. Alright, well, that kind of blows. Uh, luckily, you know, he's gonna be doing his own thing. Uh, he's not gonna be in our court anymore, which is unfortunate, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, our eunuch is gone. He wasn't, he didn't have very many good stats, let's be honest here. Uh, okay, and now these guys I will declare war for. Conquest of Chud, Conquest of Vologda. I think Vologda sounds better. Uh, and I would gain the county. Who is he fighting? Who are you fighting against? Are you defending? No, he's attacking. Oh, he's attacking these guys. Oh, and he's got these 400 men here. Interesting. Uh, well, I'd rather he not do that, because I'd rather do it myself. So let's go ahead and do the Conquest of Vologda. And get that party started. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me go all out, up in here, up in here. Okay, he's got 400 men. He's actually going to start sieging, but that doesn't really matter to me. I mean, it could a little bit matter, I guess. Mm, can't raise these guys. I can raise these guys. You guys. These guys. Those guys. Torzak. Oh man, not, not, a, not a large amount of forces. In all honesty. You, though, however, gotta go that way. Um, we have a good amount of men, I guess. Uh, okay, here we go. We got a new thing. Mayor Odor of Ixkul. Let everyone know about my plot to kill Chief Bluebly Blue. Blue. Uh, independence and lower crown authority. Well, we're not gonna do the lower crown authority thing, but we will do get rid of this independence dude. So he's not gonna like me. Whatever, bro. 
he, he already was trying to kill me. Yeah, he's at negative 62. Is that negative 62 or negative 82? Negative 82. Well, whatever. Uh, what are you gonna do? In fairness, he was trying to kill me. Um, you're pregnant again! Yet again, she's pregnant! Dude, Bion is on that shit. He is just ready to go all the time, it seems. Uh, anyway, let's... No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Whatever, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's get Zarvok, or Zarvanok, and then Alphur and Laudanir. We actually have a pretty good, uh, group. Does he have Flanker? No, it's, uh, the other guy. It's Rurik's kid. Okay, we'll go kill this guy. Or we won't? Is he going to Moramar? Alright. Oh, I didn't realize that we were going to meet him in the field. Uh, Mission Angry so far been a success. Cool. And he actually probably likes me. No, not quite likes me yet. That's fine, whatever. I'll deal with him later. Uh, we lost the battle, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, not the biggest of deals. I don't think, anyway. Um, God. We have lost us some Rurik powers. We need Rurik uh, up in this piece real bad. Um, luckily that siege has brought us up to 71% war score, and that siege has brought us to 100, so there we go. Enforce demands, yes. We lost a battle, but we won the war, and that's important. Uh, that is the important bit that uh, you really need to know. And now we can actually take these guys, who is defending against the King Shudu Blue Blue of Chud, uh, which is good, because we can just... Oh, is he already... Who's his liege? This guy? Tribe of Maris. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, let's declare war on him. And... What's the more wealthy one? Oh, that one. Okay. Let's do that. Declare war. We could call in allies, but I don't really want to, so I'm okay with that. And we'll get these guys going over there. Uh, our domain is too big yet again, so we can give away Vologda, I think. Uh, obviously it's not going to be producing a lot of money, and, and by that I mean zero monies, uh, as of right now, but that's fine. Let's, uh, take a look at our court and see who we want to give it. You know, we could give it away to our son, actually. Go ahead and give it to King Robert. Uh, we will give him Vologda. Uh, yeah. 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 The thing is, the reason that I was kind of thinking about that one is, uh, because we have Gavelkind Succession, we can only give away one title to our kid, which, by the way, oh, I've, I've been meaning, I, I'm supposed to, like, take it a little bit slower and explain things a little bit more. So we have Gavelkind Succession right now. Uh, Agnatic Cognatic just means that women can rule. Uh, Gavelkind, however, means that, um... Uh, whatchamacallit, uh, we can hold a 30% larger domain, which is great, uh, because that's our domain score up here, which we have 7 of 7, uh, but it means that the lands are divided amongst our sons, uh, so, you know, and, and it also means that our son can only hold one county, uh, so if I was playing a Christian ruler or something, or really anybody without a, um, you know, anybody without, uh, another thing, uh, chief, really? Duchy of Rostov. Interesting. So he's become the Duke. Luckily, I'm already a king, so uh, I don't really have to worry about that. I should probably create these titles. Duchy of Estonia, Duchy of Tver. Um, because I... One guy already has this, huh? He's already got the tribe of Yachi. Yeah, we should probably create the Duchy of Tver at the very least. Yeah, okay. We'll create that. Um, and the other one, Duchy of Estonia, I don't really have to care about so much. Uh, the Duchy of Yaroslav, I will deal with in due time. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to go ahead and siege out these guys and be successful in doing so, I would imagine. Uh, pretty quickly. Prisoner, how achieved this? I don't care. We already had one prisoner escape. Uh, interesting ideas how to improve the economy. Yeah, it costs us nine gold, but we have, uh, increased technology spread rate. And in fact, we can actually look into some things. So we can actually increase shipbuilding, which I kind of want to do. Although we're really close to military organization, so we're probably going to do that one. But I do want to get shipbuilding, because with one level of shipbuilding, we'll be able to, uh, have some galleys. Or we'll be able to build some, some trade ports. Or not trade ports, but ports, anyway. Uh, over there. 
uh, which is good, which is very, very good. I do want that. Uh, noble vassal opinion would increase by 1%. I probably want the legalism, which is 392. Yeah, all right, let's, let's adopt his ideas. That's cool. Ah, see, here's the problem that we've just encountered. We have a new son named Alfgear. Let's name him Elfarderton. How about that? I think that's a little bit better. Um, yeah. Elfarderton, unfortunately, I wonder why he came out as white. It's kind of interesting. So, here's our main problems now, right? Is that uh, our lands are going to be split up amongst our sons, uh, which is not, not good. Very not good. So I think the next thing that we're going to have to do is kill Prince Elfarderson. Um, I think that's our next order of business. Which is our own son, I know. But uh, it's just the thing that sometimes you gotta do. Because otherwise we're gonna split up our duchies, we're gonna split up everything. Uh, yeah, look, look at all this title loss on succession. We're gonna lose these duchies, lose all these counties and stuff. Yeah, we can't, we can't possibly do that. So uh, we're unfortunately going to, you know, murder that. We can claim the... Okay, so that's one for a woman. Those are all for women. Okay, well... And I can't really gain anything from them, unfortunately. I don't think, anyway. Um, can't gain anything from pressing those claims, so that's fine. Yep, I had a feeling that was going to happen, but that's okay, I think, because I could just declare war on him. No, I can't. Oh, God, of course. Oh, it's just this guy. It's this fucking guy again. Uh, but I can declare war on him, right? Yeah, we don't, like, have a truce. Yeah, because he's, he's new now. I had a feeling that that was going to happen, but uh, let's let's deal with this now. Oh, no, it is Truce Breaker. Okay, I thought that was going to happen, but uh, there was not much I could really do about it. Um, I'm actually going to send this 1500 stack over here, because these guys are attacking... Whoa, really? Interesting. Uh, and these guys are those dudes. Very intriguing. I kind of want to let that play out. Um, the question is, can I do anything over here? Now, I need a valid Casus Belly? I can't, why can't I do that? It seems a little bit silly. He's on my, uh, he's on the, my territory. Alright, whatever, that's fine. Uh, this guy, however, I can conquer them. And in fact, I may. It depends on their allies. They have none. Okay, so we're going to send this 1500 stack up over here, rather. Uh, and uh, when is this truce going to be over? Because that's the important thing. Uh, July 25th, 902. Okay. Uh, we could also declare war on these guys. Zauzeri... And who is he attacking? He is attacking King Ivar. Interesting. Okay. So he's ripe for the picking as well. So we'll uh, we'll come up here. There's three pieces of land there. They're not really good pieces of land, but they're pieces of land nonetheless. And, uh, you know, they are probably, yeah, they are part of the uh, Empire of Russia. So, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do to uh, get that empire going. Uh, and then it would probably give us a claim over here as well, which is nice. So let's just get our mercenary armies moving over there. Um, we might deal with these guys soon as well. Uh, we are losing not that much gold, actually, which is kind of nice. Um, oh, you're already ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and declare war on this guy. For the conquest of Zauzeri. Cool. We can call in allies. Let's see if you'll show up. Probably not. Um, and he doesn't have any allies, right? No allies. Okay, so once this guy gets there, we can probably feel pretty safe in declaring war here. Now, we're spreading ourselves a bit thin, admittedly. But we have a good amount of gold, so I feel pretty okay with doing this. Now, yes, I want Latgale. I definitely want Latgale. So let's do that. Uh, I didn't realize that uh, I wanted Latgale. I thought I wanted the other one, but I don't. 
Um, here was another thing that I noticed is I can actually buy some retinues now, which I will do, but I'm not going to do it just now because, uh, again, embroiled in two wars on two fronts. But I think it's going to be fine because we're going to take Latgale here, uh, and it should be pretty, pretty good, uh, I have to say. So, uh, anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, we are now in the middle of two wars, which we have started, uh, admittedly. And we've spread ourselves a bit thin, but we shouldn't have to worry about anyone except for Meshtaras here. Um, if they decide to go to war with us, then we're in trouble. But other than that, I think we're pretty good. We're on a we're on a good a good place here. So uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, we have continued the reign of Queen Ulfhildr, uh, age 30 now, and we're only in 898, uh, five episodes in, which uh, goes to show how long this is going to take. Uh, to get to the year 1444 and get into Europa Universalis and get into the 1800s. Uh, but we're doing what we need to do, which is we're going to continuous wars and taking as much land as we possibly can get uh, over and over and over again. Um, and we fucked these guys pretty bad, because uh, these guys are actually at war with them over here, and uh, all his troops are over here. Uh, so, you know, surely... Good thing shall abound from this. I wonder what he has. He just has castle walls there. Yeah, we should be able to take him out pretty easy. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.